and they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. This also skip to the, skip to when God told them, "Look, I'm giving you, I'm giving Israel everything they needed in the land." But when they started sinning, God said, "I'm gonna send these Gentiles over here in 70 AD. I'm gonna put y'all in slavery, and ain't nobody gonna rescue you out of this slavery until I come back." That's what you're really talking about right here. But I'm just using that, that, that as an example for Christmas. How people had these valuables in their house and they get stolen. Because you got that graven image up in there. God can't have his angels and captain around your household and you got all that crap in there. All that sinful idols and all that stuff in there. That's right. You can't be there. Come on. Are we finished with that? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 7. Just trying to get you some, some glasses in these scriptures. A lot of people blind right now, boy. If you don't believe that, listen to the reason for the season. Jesus is the reason for the season. You alive? Jesus, my Jesus ain't. Right. <laughs> you talking about that other Jesus that Satan controls. There's two Jesus in that. Come on. We're gonna get to them. But God do not want you to bring that stuff in your house at all. Period. He detests that. But this is the time we're gonna read the story of when Israel, when God gave them these people land and he destroyed them for them. He told them something when they go into the land to get these things. I don't want you to touch these graven images. I don't want you to even bring them nowhere near your houses. That's right. Verse 25. Go ahead. The graven images of their gods shall be burned with fire. God wants you to burn this stuff with fire. Well, they, they said in the offering one time on the news, said somebody broke in, uh, broke in somebody's yard and started stabbing them all these little Christmas gifts and Christmas trees and stuff like that. I was sitting up there laughing, boy. I said, yeah. You destroy that stuff. But do not do that, y'all. <laughs> do not. You break the law now. He told yeah. us to abide you know, by the law of the land and somebody in the land. Do not do that. You let God handle that. He got some fool out there to do it. Go ahead. The graven images of their God shall be burned with fire. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on thee, mm -hmm. nor take it unto thee. Lest thou be snared there therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. He don't want you to be accepting these gifts. A lot of people say, man, he bought me a watch. He bought me this. Well, I got this from this person. I got that from that person. He don't want you to accept none of this stuff. He don't even want you to bring it in your house. And I know I'm, I'm guilty of that. I have to stop that. Because, yeah, you know, I can use that right there. You know? Well, listen to what he said right here. Keep going. Verse 26. Neither shall thy bring an abomination into thine house, mm -hmm. lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. When you say abhor, that means hate it. You hate this Christmas custom and all these gifts they're trying to give you. Hate it. Man, give me, I tell my client, look, don't give me no Christmas tip. Don't give me that. I said, you give me a tip? Don't even give me that on no Christmas day. I'm gonna let them know. I let them know. They already know me anyway about that anyway. But this is what I want you to understand. Don't bring this stuff in your house. Here, don't bring it in your house. And it's going to take some time for some of us who are new in this. Just take a little bit of time. It's a buffet now. You can't eat it all in one day now. You got to eat a little bit of time. God help you. Let's go to 2 John. Let's read that in the New Testament. You just understand the Christmas custom and how to protect ourselves. I tell people this all the time. The worst thing you can do right now is sit before an Israelite who tells you the truth and don't do it. Yes. 
that's the worst thing you can do, man. He telling you the truth? It's God's word. You are accountable for it. Now you are accountable for it. Verse, uh, verse 8. 2 John, verse 8. Not 1 John, not 3 John, but 2 John. Verse 8. Give me one chapter. Go ahead. Look to yourselves that we loose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. He said, look to yourself. Don't loose these laws. What God has told us that means something to him. When you lose these things, that means you go after the Gentile way of these Christmases, these paganized holidays. You lose this stuff. You get rid of it. You start serving other gods. You start sinning. Go ahead. Whosoever transgresses and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ mm -hmm. has not God. When you transgress, meaning that you're going against the law, you sin. You don't have God in your life. You think you do. A lot of people, they can think a lot of things up in their mind that is lies. But until you read and understand what is true, you'll never get it. You got to read and understand to find out what truth is in the book. Go ahead. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, uh -huh. he has both the Father and the Son. The so, Son. You got the Father and the Son. There ain't no trinity. God, the Holy Ghost, and all this crap. Ain't no such thing. You can't find Trinity in the Bible. There ain't but two in the Godhead. He said, the Lord said to my Lord, I'm going to sit at the right hand of the Father. Revelation chapter 1 said, God gave it to the Son, which is Jesus, and he signified it by the Holy Angel. Come on. Ain't but two in the Godhead. That's another lesson. We're going to get in now. Well, go ahead. Verse 10. Mm-hmm. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not in your house. What? Neither be it him God's feet. You don't receive him in your house. If they ain't bringing this doctrine, they're not bringing the truth. You do not receive him in your house. That's how serious it is with God because they're going to bring, well, you can, I'm going to tell you what happened to me Friday. I think it was Friday. Three little girls had stepped in the shop. Boy, they came in the shop far to new. I thought they were here with somebody. They was in here, had cards and candy cane, passing out Christmas cards. I said, oh, what, what y'all doing? <laughs> I couldn't stop them, you know, I was busy. And they came up and they said, oh, you want one? I said, no, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. They'll slip in on you. Then I already had the damage. <laughs> I threw the rest of that stuff in the trash. So, you got to make sure you watch They say, oh, you can't do that to the kids, Jeff. Yeah? God kill kids, too. Yes, he do. He kill kids, too, now. Don't get it twisted. Because he knows when he, when he don't kill everybody that learned that sin, he'll bring it to Israel. Little kids will remember stuff and bring it up and start doing it. But anyway, this is what he's telling us. Don't bring this stuff in your household. Don't bring nobody in your household like this. Why? Go ahead. For he that abideth him God's speed is partaker <coughs> of his evil deeds. If you bid him God's speed, then he said, May the Lord bless you. You know they sin and you know they celebrate the holiday. You partake in their sin. He gonna deal with you. Don't bid him God's speed. So, brother, I gotta get who he a can I get a donation to take up to feed the hungry around Christmas time? No. <laughs> you happy until you say Christmas. You better just say, let me get a donation for me. You say anything about me paying all today? Uh-uh. That's right. I'm not partaking in that. I ain't building you God's speed. This is what he's telling you. And me. We finished with that? Yes, sir. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 1. We're going to hit these scriptures now. Because I started talking too long. I missed some up. God's very jealous, y'all. 
very jealous. Stop thinking about God the way you think he should be. You read about him to understand this. Because if you try to put God in your mind, you'll, you'll, you'll go crazy. You try to think how he thinks. His ways are not our way, his thoughts are not our thoughts. Come on. Only way we can find out what God's thinking about, we read the book. Read the book. Go ahead, brother. Verse 1. Would to God we could bear with me a little in my father, mm -hmm. and indeed bear with me. Go ahead. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. Paul said, this is my little father. Meaning that he almost jealous of you too. He wants you to make it. He wants all of us to make it. But he can't be jealous like God. Go ahead. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. Mm -hmm. For I have espoused you to one husband. What do you mean espoused you to one husband? Israel is the bride. Israel is the bride. The church is the bride of God. He's coming back to get her. He wants to marry her without spot or wrinkle. That's right. Without sin. This is what he's telling you. He espoused you to one husband. But Israel, they got many lovers. They got Sam. They got Cupid. They got Valentine. They got Valentine. They got birthday. They got, oh, I can't even name all this stuff. Many lovers. You know what God called them? A spiritual whore. That's all it is. Go ahead. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. Mm -hmm. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. So you got to present him as a chaste virgin to Christ. <laughs> Go ahead. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, mm -hmm. so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. People's mind are corrupted because they think they can find a different way. They think they can outsmart God instead of following his rule. Just like Eve did when she was talking to that serpent. Uh, Adam told Eve, don't, miss, don't talk to that serpent. God told me to eat of all the trees, but don't eat of that tree right now. And what she did, went over there and talked to him. Satan is a master of deception. Master. But he said, well, the word of God is so simple. Just read it and follow it. Go ahead. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. For if he that cometh preaches, preaches another Jesus. Another what? Another Jesus. What is this Jesus is the reason for the season? That's another Jesus. I don't know that Jesus. I know the Jesus of the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Day of Atonement, Tabernacle, Pentecost. That's my Jesus. I don't know the Jesus of Christmas. I don't care if you put a name on the mask, Christ's mask. That's all Christmas is. They try to fool you. Go ahead. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, mm -hmm. whom we have not preached, or uh, if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. So you bear with him for a minute to see where he's coming from. You bear with him and say, okay, let me see what the brother's talking about now. I'm going to hear But if he keep talking, I'm going to cut him with his book. I'm going to give them a chance. They're like, you give people a chance. A lot of times Israel be on attack mode too fast. They don't hang themselves. I was that person. Let them be on attack mode. Ready to come. No, let them hang themselves. Let them talk. Don't waste your weapons. Don't waste it. But he telling us, this is another Jesus. And believe me, that Jesus he talking about is Satan. He got many names. He transformed himself to anything. Yes. Jump down to verse 13. Let's see that. Go ahead. For such are false apostles, mm -hmm. deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. Now look at these ministers who have this truth before them, before them, how I know they got the truth. They got they're reading out the same Bible me and you reading out. But they won't tell them. And I'm looking at this name, Satan and Sam. Same letters, but when you mix them up. What do you get? 
You got Sam, that same. Same name. He come in many names now. But if you got your eyes on, you won't see it. I won't see it. Transforming himself. He transformed himself to Santa Claus, a big old fat white man with a beard, giving out prayers. Transform himself. Tell your kids, especially. Because y'all, when we die off, y'all got to be the ones to take this thing to the next level and keep it going. It's not too above your knowledge to understand this. Don't bring this Christmas inside of your kids' household when you start having kids. If the man you marry, the woman you marry, she coming that, you don't need to marry her. Say, so if you can't roll with this book, I can't deal with you. That's right. Iron it out first before you do anything. Go ahead, brother. Verse 14. And no more, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So Satan can transform himself? Yes. He can transform himself. Go ahead. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. They doing it today. They gonna have them people in church on Christmas celebrating. Celebrating. But they say they doing all this in the name of Jesus. They got Christmas trees, wreaths, and everything, all the churches and everything. Where they get that from? You go to your Bible and say, Pastor, can you please find me what God said? We got to put this creepy tree up and decorate it in the Bible. Can you please find this for me? And boy, believe me, you got some knowledge, you take him on that Jeremiah chapter 10. He said, all right, sister, I'll see you later. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about this, baby. He's going to run away from me. Absolutely. Please don't send him to me. We finished with that. One over 16. Go ahead. I say again, let no man think me a fool, if otherwise, yet as a fool receive me, that I may boast myself a little. Paul said, don't think I'm a fool now for what I'm telling you. Not a fool. He trying to warn us all through the scriptures. Got two more after this. Isaiah chapter 30, and verse 8. But people love these lies. Hello. People, please don't protect your kids with a lie by telling them, telling them the truth. Don't protect your kids with a lie by telling them the truth. You, a lot of parents try to protect kids' emotions because everybody ain't even doing it. Everybody celebrating Christmas in uh, in, uh, in school. I used to tell my wife, go get them, them come home, separate them until they got some understanding of what not to do. Don't protect them with these lies. But people love lies. Isaiah 30 verse 8. Go ahead. Now go, write it before them in a table. Mm -hmm. And note it in a book. This is what we're reading. He said, go. We tell him, Isaiah, write it on the table. Note it in a book. Note it. Write it down so these people can come out and read it. Go ahead. That it may be for the time to come for ever and ever. Mm -hmm. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, mm -hmm. children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Ain't we there? Yes. Rebellion. You tell the Israel about their law, they need this. Who he think he is? I'm nobody. I'm reading. This is the book. I didn't come up with this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which say to the hid seers, see not. These are the ministers of God, ministers of Israel. Which say to the seers, don't talk about that. Man, we having such a good time. They don't need to bring that up. But you should have invited me over here. I don't care if it, ain't. it might not be Christmas, but I ain't gonna sit up in this scene going on because that blood would be on my hand. Don't bring me over there. Go ahead. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Mm -hmm. Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Mm -hmm. That's what they want you to do. Wow. Speak to them smooth things. Who rock the boat? Jeff, everybody having a good time. Man, you got a whole hog on the table. What you talking about? <laughs> 
telling me not to tell nobody, these folks up there eating this stuff in, on Christmas or whenever these holidays are? Man, no. Don't, 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 don't invite me over there no more. Go ahead. Verse 11. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. He said, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Go ahead. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's how you call the Holy That's why most people don't know who Israel is. Because the prophets or the people of God are not teaching the book. We learn it from the Gentiles. That's why he said, follow not the ways of the Gentiles. That's right. Israel is going to follow these holy days and these laws. We might not be following on the, on the same day, but God will straighten it out when he can get here. That's right. You just, you just try to do it. Try to understand. Go ahead. Wherefore, thus says the Lord, thus says the Holy One of Israel. Yes, sir. Because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Because you despise the word. And wonder why you ain't having for better good luck. Wonder why everything is just happening bad for you. Why your body's attacking you. Why your kids attacking you. And it's a constant struggle with some people. Constant struggle. And most of all, some of these people, they get in a so struggle in their mind, they turn their backs against God. Mm -hmm. I can't take this man. I'm going through too much trauma with this stuff. He told you this would happen. You got to know how to handle it. It'll pass, or they will pass. One of the two. He said the weapon wasn't the weapon wasn't going to prosper. He didn't say it was going to form up. It's going to form. It's going to attack you, but it ain't going to prosper. We win in the end. I know that. I read the end of the book. Go ahead. Amen. That's Therefore, what, excuse me. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, mm -hmm. sweating out in a high wall, whose, whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. I only tell you, when you start connecting with these different type of days, it's a wall about to fall. Something bad gonna happen in your feast. That's all I'm telling you, it's a wall about to fall, something gonna happen. Just have your eyes and your ears on Monday. Watch the news. You ain't got to wait for money. It should be happening right now. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. And he shall break it as, as the breaking of a potter's vessel mm -hmm. that is broken in pieces. Now, he's talking about people now. People. He's going to break it. The Lord is going to break it. God going to punish these people for following these sinful ways. Go ahead. He shall not spare. Mm -hmm. So that that shall not be found in the bursting of it, a shred to take fire from the heart. Mm -hmm. Hear it. Hear it. Mm -hmm. Or to take water with them out of the pit. He telling you right there, when he, once he break it, which is the pile, he's talking about the bottle, the, your body, and he's talking about the pit. What is the pit? Lake of fire. Ain't no water to quench that. When he breaks you down and puts you in the lake, that's it. Or oh, me in that lake, that's it. Well, I ain't put myself in that, but <laughs> go ahead. Verse 15. Uh -huh. For thus says the Lord God, mm -hmm. the Holy One of Israel, in returning and uh, in returning uh -huh. and rest shall ye be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. Let me tell you right here, you know it's true. Be quiet. You got strength. Just say the word to him and leave it alone. Be done with it. Because we are, we are shooting our bullets at a wall that are not going to move. Hmm. Most of the time it's our family. We keep telling the same thing over and over and over again. I'm talking to myself. I say this stuff all the time to my mom my dad. Or my mom when my dad was living. You say it all the time. You got to stop doing this. Stop saying it. He's still doing the same thing today. Why waste my time? Last verse. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Hope y'all understanding this. Good. This is what we got to do, man. And woman. 
got to prepare. You got to prepare for these times because at the end, it's going to be very hard. It's going to be very hard. If you're not rooted in these scriptures, Satan might take your kid and kill him right in front of your face. And then you, in your mind, you think, God wants to protect, God wants to protect my kid. He wants to protect my kid.